In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Scholar to find free scholarly articles that you can cite in your essays at university. So to get to Google Scholar, just type in scholar.google.com in your search bar. It'll take you to a screen like this that looks a lot like Google, but the results that you're going to get from Google Scholar are all academic peer-reviewed articles. If you're not sure what an academic peer-reviewed article is, I'll leave a link here and you can watch my video on what an academic article is. But for now, let's have a search for an academic article. Let's say you're writing an essay on globalization and you need to talk about types of globalization in your essay. You might know what the types of globalization are, but you know that there's an expectation that you reference academic articles. So you're going to type in types of globalization in the search bar and see what comes up. You can see here that the results look very similar to Google results, but underneath each search result are a few unique things. For example, you can see here that the name of the author, the journal in which the article was published, and the year in which the article was published are all put underneath the title. You can also see right underneath that is an abstract giving you a bit of an idea of what the article will be about. Now you know that your teacher is probably going to want you to cite relatively new articles. So there's a feature in Google Scholar that can help you do that. All you need to do is go to this custom search bar on the left hand side of the screen and you can type in a year range to find articles only within that year range. So for example, if I put in 1970 to 1980, you can see all of these results showing up are all within the 1970s. Now what I would recommend is choosing articles within the past 10 years or so. So you can see here, I'm just choosing articles from 2020 to get relatively new articles. Now let's go back to that original search results. You can see here a list of articles that are all talking about globalization and they probably talk about globalization within the articles. Now you can see a few of them have links to PDFs on the side. Those links will take you directly to the article and you'll have free access to it. You can see that not all of the search results take you to a free article. So you're only going to be able to get the free ones that Google finds that have the PDF or HTML link. Fortunately, Google's pretty good at finding a lot of free articles. So you should be able to find enough articles to write any essay. On a side note, if you want to find out how many articles you need to reference in an essay, let's say how many articles should I reference in a 1000 word essay, you can use the link above and I'll explain that to you in a separate video. Okay, one last thing I want to show you is this bar right at the bottom of all of the search results. Now that bar is really important because it shows you some really useful things. The first one is it actually generates the reference for you. So if you click that little quote button there, it'll take you to a list of references in different reference styles. So let's say you want the APA style reference. You can just copy that like I'm doing here and you can paste that at the bottom of your essay as your reference. Just note that those references are not always accurate. So make sure that you check it against the APA or MLA style standards that your university expects. And you might have to insert some extra details that Google couldn't find. Next in that bar are two things called related articles and cited by articles. Now the one that I really like is cited by. First thing you'll notice is some articles are cited by a lot of sources and some articles might not be cited by any other sources. If the article is cited by a lot of sources, it means that it's a highly respected article. So it might be a good one for you to use. You can also click on that cited by article and you can find all of the articles that reference that article. That's really useful if you want to find more articles to reference that are talking about a similar topic. And you can scroll down there and you can search for more articles about types of globalization. I hope this overview has been really useful for you. If you want to get any more tips and tricks on how to write essays at university, like and subscribe to this channel and you can search through all of my past videos to get more tips and tricks. This video is part of a mini series on how to conduct research at university, so like and subscribe and follow this whole playlist for more helpful tips and tricks on how to conduct research and do referencing at university.